Well, I've always been different. I wanted to be different. And just the heels at a very young age was just a great statement for it. Great. What was that statement? I do what I want and f*** you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Yannis Marshall. I'm a French dancer, choreographer, and I'm known, I guess, to be a man that dances in heels. Now watch me run this. Look at how I run. Heels is definitely not just putting a pair of heels and starting to dance with them. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to really make it a new style, just as important as hip hop, jazz, and ballet. I've choreographed Cirque du Soleil show, Zumanity. I've worked with Celine Dion and Ryan Reynolds. I was playing Deadpool, but in heels. I'm happy when people tell me that it looks easy because it really isn't. When I dance, I always try to make it look effortless. The risk of dancing heels, it's very simple. You can fall at any moment. <laughs> I think the secret is never to forget that you're wearing heels. When I teach, I do tell my students that it's not enough to be a good dancer. They have to be stars in their own way. They have to have, what I say the most is charisma. Yeah, 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 yeah. I chose art because like many different artists, I'm sure it was just a way of expressing ourselves. And dance was like my way of screaming pretty much or saying things that I couldn't. Now I'm pretty outspoken. But I wasn't always like that. I think dance helped me become like that. People would only focus on the heels, just the heels, the heels. And at some point I was like, well, it's not just the shoe itself, it's what it represents. It's the fact that men are not supposed to do it. It's the fact that if I'm gonna walk on the street with them, people will stare. You can't dissociate that, being gay and dancing in heels as a man, you can't. And I think some people have to do it so others can feel like it's okay to do it, not just in your room. I started very young. My mother decided to put me up in a professional training dance school. And as I was getting older, I had my sexuality happening. So the heels came with that. I just think it's a little bit easier for sure to be gay now. And definitely when I was 15 and where I was from, it wasn't. It was not, yeah. Were you dancing when I was 15? No. No, but I was still gay. Same. <laughs> I didn't need heels, trust me. Mm, you're new. <laughs> right, left, right, left. I've been told that when I teach a class, that I also teach them a little bit about life more than just dance. Throw it front, woo! Because I think it goes together. Like, you can't be this great rebel dancer if you're not like that in your life. I am like that. The way I dance is the way I am. Woo! <laughs> I don't believe I'm the first man to dance in heels at all. I think what I've done is made it very okay to do it. Sure, of course. I'm definitely aware of the influence that I have. I only do what I do so I can inspire people. 